All right, guys, today I want to show y'all what I did to uh, avoid having to buy a new ECM, ECU, um, whatever you want to call it for this 2006 Mercury. This is a 25 horsepower fuel injected. And uh, in this particular application, the fuel pump went out in this unit and we put an aftermarket fuel pump in it. It ran fine for about 10, 15 hours. A uh, customer brought it back to me, said, hey, it died, had idle, won't start back up. Upon my diagnosis, we found, uh, he was thinking that maybe the fuel pump was bad because there was no fuel pressure in the Schrader valve, but I took the fuel pump out and jumped it and it worked just fine. Um, Cause originally all I did was test the power wire coming to the fuel pump and it had power. What I did not test was the ground wire. And in this application, the ground comes from the ECU and we had lost the ground going to the fuel pump. So I uh, originally just cut the ground off, grounded it directly, got it to run once, shut it off, wouldn't run again, wouldn't fire back up. Uh, after playing around with it for a minute, I realized that if I delayed the uh, fuel pump from kicking on or uh, relieved the pressure on the Schrader valve, the fuel pressure, it would fire up. So I'm assuming the ECM has a delay on the ground side of, uh, of this unit. So instead of buying him a new computer at $1,000, he couldn't afford that. It's almost worth more than the motor itself. Um, I bought this Bueller time delay on relay. There's a part number there for you. It is turned all the way down to the one second. And the only bad part about this application is, is you're gonna have to have a battery the way I've got it wired in now. I'm sure I could find a solid 12 volt source from the stator, but instead um, I tapped into right behind this cover is a um, sil solenoid for the starter. Tap into the hot side of it. I've got an inline fuse to the power in. Um, I got, this is the trigger wire coming from the positive side of the ECM. Uh, I've got it, the ground, and it goes also to the fuel pump itself. And then we've got our uh, uh, load, which goes to the fuel pump. So upon reading some more, it's very common for this to happen when people put aftermarket fuel pumps in it. Uh, I read that you could put a uh, diode sort of surge protector of sort in between the positive of this negative uh, with an aftermarket pump, but it's safe to say that this aftermarket pump killed this computer. So if you're watching this and you put an aftermarket pump in your uh, outboard, I would research on what diode to put in between the positive and negative. Or if you're watching this because you lost your um, negative supply from the computer, here's an easy, uh, cheap way. I think this relay was uh, 27, 28 bucks, something like that. Um, this will get you going without having to do any other switches or any other, you gotta do this before that, uh, trying to get this thing to run without a new computer. So hopefully this will help y'all, save y'all some money. I'll show y'all how it works. There's a uh, there's a green light that comes on on this relay once it finally gets power. And like I said before, it would not start unless you relieved that fuel pressure or you delayed the uh the power on to that fuel pump so this is a very easy fix it fires up before the power comes on before the fuel pump there's just enough fuel pressure in there to get it started and obviously too much fuel pressure uh doesn't allow the injectors to work or something i'm not sure but cheap and easy fix if you have any questions let me know